a dream. Hi, welcome to Dish Nutrition. Welcome to my kitchen. I know many people out there are having a problem with finding bread that is gluten free and yeast free. We've experienced that ourselves here in our house. A lot of times we'd buy a gluten free bread and later find out that there was yeast in it. Here in our home, my husband is the one that's allergic to gluten and also to yeast. The recipe that I have that I want to show you today is a gluten-free, yeast-free bread recipe that I have spent many times making over and over again just to perfect this recipe. And it is very simple to make. I know you're thinking, yeah, right, but it really is. If you just follow the directions and follow what I'm doing here, your bread will turn out perfect. You'll love it, and you can make it over and over again. Yeah. Confidence that it's all going to turn out okay, and it will. I've already placed my flowers. I have a half a cup of sorghum flour, one half cup of potato starch flour, one half cup of tapioca flour, and a brown rice flour. All of the halves and whole cups make it really simple here. Baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, xanthan gum, and this is a corn derivative. It's a binder that helps keep everything together. Sea salt, organic molasses, of warm milk, which I have right here. It's all warmed up, ready to go. Of apple cider vinegar, of agave, three eggs. And if you're not able to have milk products, then you could substitute your eggs with an egg replacer, and you can substitute your milk with rice milk or almond milk or whatever it is you want to use other than cow's milk. And lastly, we'll be adding in some blossom honey that I have right here. This is really good stuff. We'll be using one metal loaf pan, and the reason you want to use a metal loaf pan is that it reflects the light better and it, everything bakes better. Okay, we have our flour here in our bowl. And you just want to mix it up pretty well, make sure it's all combined well. So that we don't dirty up too many dishes, we're just going to make a well in the center of our flour here. Okay, we have all of our flour in this bowl. It's mixed up pretty well, and then we'll, we'll add in the rest of our ingredients that we'll need to this flour which is our baking powder, our baking soda, our xanthan gum, sea salt, and we will combine these well. It's nice, it's moist, you're going to love this recipe. And it goes. And you don't want to play around with this a lot, just kind of flatten it out. Now what you'll do is add a tablespoon of olive oil to the top of your bread here. And then we'll just pat it out a little bit. I'm using a knife. I like to use a knife on it. As you can see here. And as you've probably noticed, working with this, these flowers is quite different than working with wheat. Things don't seem to be as precise and sticky and just stick all together here for you. You have to kind of make it stick together. I don't want to play around with this too much, but you do want to get it so that it's pretty much even. There we are. Okay, we're almost done. Lastly, we'll add our olive oil right to the top of our bread. About a tablespoon. Lightly tap the olive oil into your dough mixture. Okay, there we are. Pop our loaf pan into our oven that's preheated at 425 degrees. We'll let our bread bake for between 28 and 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer if need be. So in it goes. Okay, here we are. I just removed our bread from the oven. It baked exactly 28 minutes. And this is our gluten-free, yeast-free right bread. Here. And I'm going to bring it a little closer so that you can see it just perfect. And this is what you should expect to find when you finish baking your bread. Doesn't that look good? Okay, I'm going to try out a piece and see how it is. And I think I'm going to have some butter and some of this blossom honey. It's from Germany. It's not the stuff from China. And the one from Germany is much better. This is nice and hot. And as you can see, this will fall right out. See that? You don't have to worry about... Um, any flour in your pan, as long as you add a little bit of nonstick spray, you'll be good to go. You can use this bread for toast, you can use it for a, any sandwich you'd, you'd like. You can 
can use it for French toast. You can also freeze it if you'd like, but I find that it's better if you just eat it as you go and don't, you, there's really nothing left to freeze in my house, actually. And there we go, it came right out, no problem. It's all intact. And it is very warm, so we'll get a little bit of butter here, and it should melt pretty quickly. There it goes. Most bread's going to seem like a little bit mushier in this, than what you're used to with regular wheat bread. But believe me, it is perfect. Now for our blossom honey. Jelly can go on here. Anything you want can go on here, just like any other piece of bread that you'd eat. Or in this case, may have eaten on this gluten-free healthy diet. Mm. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, the blossom honey just adds a little bit more sweetness to this recipe. So if you don't have that, just add a little bit more agave. Or if you don't have agave, you, may, you might need to use granulated sugar. But, you know, in a pinch, if that's all you have, then that's what you'll need to use. And here we go. This is delicious. I hope you try this recipe. If you have any questions, just send me a message and I'll get back with you. Thank you for watching and enjoy your gluten-free, yeast-free bread. Dream. I will trust in you, Lord, let me not be ashamed You are my light and my salvation, healing brain You're the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? You protected me from the grave when I saw holy spray Money surround me, death is lurking at my doorstep Crowds surround me, wanna drown me, take my last breath I shall not fear, my redemption draws near No, I shall not fear, for my redemption draws near I will trust in you, Lord, let me not be ashamed.